Odi Linux. Enlightenment Desktops, Minimalist Marvel. Forget everything you thought you knew about Minimalist Linux distros. Bodhi Linux doesn't just rip things down. It thoughtfully reimagines your desktop experience with enlightenment in a way you probably never seen before. We are diving deep into what makes this distribution so special and why its distinct approach to a lightweight system is turning heads in the Linux community. In the world of Linux, finding a truly lightweight yet functional distribution can feel like an endless quest. Many users struggle with bloated systems that hog resources, especially on older machines or when you just want something simple and efficient. That's where Bodhi Linux comes in. It's not just another distro in the crowded landscape. Bodhi offers a unique perspective by building around the Enlightenment desktop environment, emphasizing modularity and elegance over access. What sets it apart? It's based on Ubuntu's long-term support releases for stability. But it keeps things minimal, allowing you to customize exactly what you need without unnecessary bloat. This approach makes it stand out as a breath of a fresh air for those tired of heavier options like GNOME or KDE Plasma. Let's take a deeper dive into the heart of Bodhi, the Enlightenment desktop. Powered by the Enlightenment Foundation Libraries, or EFL, Enlightenment has a rich history. Starting back in the late 1990s, as a window manager, focused on being lightweight, visually appealing, and efficient. Its philosophy revolves around providing a compositing desktop shell that's flexible and performant. Even on modest hardware, think eye-catching effects and animations without demanding a powerhouse PC. Over the years, it evolved from its early days as a fork-friendly project to a modern environment that prioritizes user empowerment and creativity. Bodhi takes this foundation and meticulously tailors it for peak performance. They optimize enlightenment by forking it into something called Moksha, which we'll get into shortly. Core features shine here. Shelves act like customizable panels where you can dock apps and widgets. Gadgets let you add functional elements like clocks or system monitors anywhere on your desktop. Virtual desktops allow seamless workspaces switching and the customization options are endless. From themes to key bindings, it's all about giving you control without overwhelming your system. Now, for both this distinctive user experience. Out of the box, it comes with a handful of default applications that perfectly complement its minimalist ethos. Tunar as the file manager for quick navigation. Terminology as a speedy terminal emulator. And a lightweight web browser like Midora or Firefox ESR. No frills. Just essentials. So you can add what you want via the Bodhi App Center, which curates software without the hassle. In real world scenarios, Bodhi excels. On older hardware, like a 15 year old netbook or laptop, it breathes new life into machines that other distros might choke on. Users report boot times with as little as 190 MB of RAM usage and smooth performance for everyday tasks. Battery life on laptops is impressive too, with lower power consumption compared to heavier Ubuntu variants. One review noted around 15 watts during use. Extended sessions on the go. Resource comparison, both ships CPU and memory, making it faster than environments like KDE Plasma while still offering visual flair. At the core of this is the Moksha desktop. Bodhi's fork of Enlightenment's DR17 branch. Why fork? Upstream Enlightenment evolved in ways that introduced stability issues for Bodhi's lightweight focus. So Moksha keeps the best of E17. It's more neutral in appearance, adds extra modules for functionality, and prioritizes stability over cutting edge changes. The result? A modular setup where everything from shells to gadgets is like building blocks you can arrange or remove, keeping things lean and tell it to you. So who benefits from Bodhi? 
it's ideal for a wide range. Linux newcomers drawn into its simplicity and clean interface. Without the steep learning curve of something like Arch. Power users who crave deep customization and control over every aspect of their desktops. Practically applications. Reviving old PCs or netbooks. Running on embedded systems. Or even as lightning fast daily driver for modern laptops where efficiency matters. The community is another strength. Small but active and friendly. Head to the Bodhi forums or Discord for help. Contribute to coding, themes, or translations. And stay updated on developments like the upcoming Debian-based beta. Recent user experience highlight its speed on vintage hardware, like old ThinkPads, where it outperforms distros like Linux Mint. To wrap up, Bodhi Linux key strengths are its ultra-lightweight design, the elegant and customizable Moksha desktop, and stellar performance on any hardware. Areas for growth. It might require a bit more setup for absolute beginners. And in small true means updates are steady but not rapid. Still, Bodhi deserves a spot in your distro hopping journey or as you go to systems if minimalism calls to you. Why not try Bodhi for yourself? Download it from bodhilinux.com. Give it a spin on a live USB and share your experience in the comment below. Have you used Bodhi or Enlightenment? Let me know what's your favorite lightweight distro. Hit like, subscribe for more Linux deep dives. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.